Hi guys, Mark here. I'm at OKM's headquarters in Altenburg, Germany. And today I'm gonna to show you the Gepard, just how easy it is to use. We're going to work in the test field here. This is the same test field that OKM uses to test every device before it's shipped out. They do a quality test here to make sure that everything's working properly. So we're going to use this same test bed with the GPR, the Gepard, and basically show you what the scan looks like in the field, how to do the scan, and then we're going to walk you through what it looks like on the tablet, and then when we transfer it into Visualizer 3D, you'll see what that looks like, and then at the end, we're going to show you what the pipe looks like. So let's do it. All right, guys, what we're gonna do now is set the Gepard up, and I want you to see just how easy it is to start a scan. So what we've done is we've started the app on the tablet, and you can see here you've got four choices, new scan, view scan, information, and activation. Software's already been activated, so we want to do a new scan. And here you can see immediately the radar is connected, the antenna is connected, the battery <coughs> is fully charged, and we've got a green flashing arrow here that says, okay, let's start. Now, if you don't have the two check marks here, if those are X's, what you can do is you've got your button here on the top of the control panel for the Gepard. You press that and it will turn green and it will start to flash blue. And as it's flashing blue, it's connecting. When it's connected, it stays blue. And you can see now that it is um, blue. So that tells us that everything is good to go. We press the arrow and we have four more selections. The GPS is enabled, the headphones are disabled, the speaker is enabled, and we've got the default color scheme. We want to keep that. But if you want to, let's say, disable the GPS, you just press it and it disables it. You press it again and it enables it. If you want to look at a different color screen, you or color scheme you press the button and here you've got your different color schemes we're going to go with the standard color scheme and press the right button here it's asking you for a short file name so what you want to do there is to make sure that you're very specific with the file name that you put in there when you're doing multiple scans in a day it's really easy to lose track of which scan was where gps helps with that quite a bit what you want to do here is to make sure you're as specific as possible. You, the best thing to do is to actually map out your scans before you start to say, okay, I'm going to do 10 scans, scan one, scan two, and you know where those are so that you can go back and reference it when you do find a target to know exactly, okay, this was scan four. And then when you look at the um, Visualizer 3D Studio, you'll see it was three meters from the starting point over and then up another, 2.5 meters, whatever that um, target location is. But the more specific you are and the more preparation you do on the front end, the much easier it is to find the targets that you've located with your device on the back end. So now we have uh, will put in a file name here. And since we're at OKM's headquarters, it's OKM. And we go forward. Here you can give it a project title and a description same process you want to be as specific as possible here so that you're able to go back um, after you've done the scans to know exactly where the targets were the next window we've got 3d and we've got 2d scan with the gepard the 3d is so amazing and gives you such a great result that's what you typically want to run with if you um, do want to do a 2d scan and you've got the ability to read those and you can do 2d for me, 3D is the only way to roll. I press the arrow here. You always want to choose parallel in the beginning. As you develop your skill set, you can go with zigzag, but parallel is where we're going to start. We press there. We're going to go with the medium depth here because we know that the targets are not too deep in this case. So we're going with medium. We press the target there and voila, we are ready to start scanning.
Hi guys, we just finished the scan. We've got the results here. Come over here and take a look at them. What you see, this is our scan result and you can see that we've got, we found the pipe that's buried. And what we've got here is, this is a really neat feature with the Gepard, is you've got a scale over here to the right that tells you the approximate depth. And as you slide it down, you can see the image disappearing and then reappearing. And when it starts to disappear, that's your approximate depth. And as it looks right now, we've got 1.85 meters on the depth of the two pipes. There's also a smaller pipe that we found here. And we've got a depth on that one of 1.1 meters. So it's about three, just over maybe three and a half feet below the surface. So what we're going to do now is to take this, transfer the file into the Visualizer 3D Studio and take a look at it there also confirm the soil choice and see where we stand. So let's go inside. Hi guys, we've taken the file from the Gepard from the analysis that we did in our sand area down below in the test field. And here's what we've got. This is the image that you saw on the tablet as we did the scans. And now we've transferred the tablet via the same protocol that we use for the um, Fusion Light. If you haven't seen that, you can go to Tips and Tricks and look for file transfer from the tablet or the phone into the um, PC for more information on that. So we've made the file transfer. You can see what it looks like on the tablet here and then what we've got here on the screen. Now what is super interesting and what no one expected <clears throat> is you can see we've got two images. We've got the bigger image on the bottom, and then we've got the smaller image just above that. What we've got happening here is the small image above that is the pipe. You can see it fairly well on the tablet as well. That's the pipe. That's the target that we were looking for. What we also found here is a pool of water. We had a lot of rain three days ago, and that all of that moisture has accumulated at the bottom of the uh, test box for the sand, and now it's showing up on the um, Gepard. So that was something that we didn't expect. That's a real bonus, we feel like. So that's, um, you know, surprise. We found something that we weren't expecting to find, and now we can see it. The main point here is to see how clearly the water shows up and how clearly the pipe shows up. You can also see it here on the tablet. When you're in the Visualizer 3D, you can switch here to your um, 3D mode. And when you do that, you can see the water really dominates the, um, the image here. So when we go to the top down, it's the same thing. You can see that water is about two meters deep and it's about two meters wide as well. So that's a, a pretty big pool of water. When we go to the side view here, then you really see the, um, the round cross section from the pipe that's buried. And you also see the, um, the cross section <clears throat> of the water that's accumulated below the sandbox. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go out and dig up this pipe. 